Hey, what's going on, you guys? This is Madam, and I'm coming back to you once again. This time, I'm going to go over to the New York Post, and this is about Carly Russell. She has been fired from her spa job. Co-workers are pissed about increasingly suspicious kidnapping story. The article is done by Gerard Downing and Salim Agar. Agar, I apologize for mispronouncing the name if I did. Um, but it goes on to say Carly Russell has officially disappeared from the payroll of her Alabama job. The owner of Wood, uh, Woodhouse Spa in Birmingham told the Post that she has been canned and that her steaming co-workers are pissed about her, their former colleagues' increasingly suspect kidnapping account. Owner Stuart Rome said his staffers were stunned at the hearing of Russell's purportedly uh, disappearance and did everything in their power to help bring her home. It was really devastating for them thinking a co-worker was abducted, he said. The following day, Saturday, it was the busiest day of the week and they had to plug along and work in in the off times passing out flyers and other things. But since Russell abruptly resurfaced, police have revealed she had searched the bus ticket prices and movies about kidnapping on the day she disappeared, drawing mounting skepticism over her account. Her co-worker concerned, uh, uh, co-workers concerns also started to turn to anger. As the information came out that there were some questionable things were being a little pissed off, mainly because so many people took so much time out to search, Rome said. In addition, the spa has been getting slammed with nasty social media messages and damaging one-star reviews because of its affiliation with Russell. Basically, we spent the last day battling to get things deleted, he said. Comments I had to shut down my comment section on Instagram and Facebook page, which hurts us because we do a lot of marketing there. We've just, we're just trying to keep the doors open. Uh, uh, uh. Russell, age 25, called 911 at approximately 9.34 p.m. on July 13th. And told, uh, and then, excuse me, and told a dispatcher that she had spotted a child wearing a T-shirt and diaper, walking barefoot along a busy Hoover, Alabama highway. Russell uh, pledged to stay at the scene until police arrived, but then vanished for two days before returning home, and claiming that she had been kidnapped and held captive. Police found her red Mercedes-Benz cell phone and wig at the scene of the supposed disappearance, but found no traces of Russell or a missing tot. Her mom, Tilly, excuse me, Talitha Russell told NBC's Today Show Tuesday that her brave daughter had fought for her life to escape her captives, but police chief Nick Dirzitz said his investigation has been unable to verify most of Carly's initial statement. She claimed she was abducted by a man who forced her into a car and then an 18-wheeler truck while she was blindfolded. Russell said she then told she she uh, then held at a home she was then held at a home where a female captive gave her cheese crack crackers, according to Dirzitz. I apologize if I mispronounced the name. Uh, Russell told detectives she eventually managed to escape and run through the woods back to her neighborhood. Before she vanished, Russell searched for information about Amber Alerts, the Lamb Neeson movie Taken, and bus tickets to Nashville leaving the day she disappeared. Official said she also fired off a series of unusual tweets before calling 911. 
Yeah, I want a family now. She posted about 15 minutes before contacting police. A few minutes earlier, she wrote, Today was a great day. God be looking out. I'm telling you. And someone to tell you I love you and don't get and don't got a reason. Excuse me. Uh, her former employees filmed that if her story is confirmed as a hoax, locals won't be as quick to unite the next time a similar scenario emerges, which is true. I think it erodes faith for the next time. It erodes faith when people see somebody who's been abducted and they've been put through this, he said. They're just not going to respond like they did, which is the worst part. And I totally do agree. Initially, I started off this um, this whole thing when it started, just reserving my judgment, um, just keeping a close eye on anything and everything. Like I said in my previous video, it was a lot of content creators that was coming out on TikTok and on YouTube and of a social media platforms, this is Instagram and, you know, etc., etc., saying that, you know, it was a hoax, um, you know, some people allude to the fact that she did it because she wanted to get back at her boyfriend because uh, he was cheating, allegedly, uh, that has not came out in the mainstream media, so I do not know, so I will continue to say that is alleged, um, however, as details did begin to pour out, I tend to sway my opinion um, to sit here and say that I'm not disappointed. Of course, I am disappointed. But again, this is a thing that happens, um, that has happened in many other states and to different people. Uh, however, um, will it, for me as a person, not motivate me the next time this happens to someone? to put it in out there you know to research and defend and stand with that person no yeah i wouldn't um at the end of the day people do things for some of the most dumbest selfish reasons um given the fact that she has been avoiding you know a follow-up interview and you know the things that they searched from her phone and things of that nature and the fact that allegedly she had stolen from her job the day that she claimed that she was abducted um just all of those things just leaves a sour taste in anyone's mouth um i know it's a lot of people out there saying oh well i told you and did it and y'all dumbish no i don't feel dumb for having compassion i don't feel dumb for thinking about myself if it was me if it was my daughter if it was my niece aunt cousin etc no i don't and if it ever happens again to where someone is abducted i will still put in the 110 percent or whatever to help bring that person home alive if possible you know not everybody is going to have good intentions. <clears throat> Excuse me. As I've said, not everyone is going to utilize the services and things of that nature, you know, to for a positive outcome. You know, people do stupid stuff for stupid reasons. It was another story about a young lady that had uh, she was in college. And she basically disappeared, and she said she was abducted. Coming to find out, she wasn't abducted. What happened was is that she had dropped out of school, like to college, like two years beforehand, and she didn't want her family and friends to look at her in a bad light. So she came up with this idea of being abducted so people would have sympathy for her. You know, um, just to cover up the decision that she made to drop out of college two years earlier. There was another story about a young lady that was married or was engaged. 
and she literally went jogging one day and disappeared. And coming to find out the whole time, I guess she just wanted a little vacation or a break or whatever the case was. And she basically, you know, linked up with her ex-boyfriend, hid out at his house, you know, even went to the extent of physically harming herself, physically starving herself to make the story believable. Um, you know, all of these stories that I just mentioned were national news. Uh, they definitely were a thing. I cannot remember the two ladies' names that I'm speaking about right now, but definitely if you do a quick Google search, you will definitely come up with it. It has been talked about millions and millions of times. But, I mean, does it decrease the next time another person goes pit missing, whether it be man, woman, or child, for me? No, it doesn't. Um, you know, even though this world is going <laughs> uh, going from sugar to sh you know what I'm saying? You you mean you gotta have some compassion out there. You gotta you know trust, but then verify. You know, um, as far as black women, I yes I do feel that it's gonna be a lot harder. Um, it's hard enough to get a person of color, whether it be black, Native American, etc., to even be posted on national news, um, to even be talked about. You know, usually when a person of color goes missing, they just go missing. You know what I'm saying? And then they turn up, you know, unlocked. You know what I'm saying? And then that's it. With no media, mainstream media pushing it or anything. Will it make it much harder for them to do it? Oh, yeah, of course. But, I mean, let it be anybody else. You know, they're still going to run with the story. You know, it's still going to be mainstream. Um, not to go too deep into that because I don't want anybody to say that it's going to be a, oh, it's a, no, it's not. It's just a fact. That is a fact. Um, as far as Carly Russell, she, until they hear from her or whatever the case, uh, they need to take the appropriate measures that they did just like they did with the lady that was married and went jogging, um, just like the lady that, you know, was in college, um, the appropriate measures and steps that they took after the fact, once they found out that I was a host, um, they deserve what they get. Same thing for Carly Russell. If it is, in fact, concrete proven that she is um, lying and it, it was a hoax and that she did it for a dumb reason, then, yeah, she should definitely you know, face the same consequences as the other two women, you know, um, you know, depending on what state they might make an example out of her, so, I mean, she gotta deal with that, if it's proven concretely that, you know, mm, whatever, but with that, you guys, I would definitely like to know what you guys think, please drop down in the comment section, and chop it up with me. I definitely love to hear from you. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And thank you so much for watching my video. I do appreciate it. Also, side note, I did a video about um, former basketball, Lakers basketball star Dwight Howard and the issues that he's going through right now. Um, I do appreciate everyone dropping in my comments, whether it was good or negative, but I did have one person that was triggered. Um, you know, I appreciate everyone's comments as long as you keep it respectfully. Um, you know, but hey, it is what it is. Just a shout out to all the people that commented on that story. Um, I had very good dialogue with each and every person, and I wanted to thank you. And with that, you guys, I will get with you in the next one.